7 minutes, 26 seconds. Fred Brooks, Mythical Man Month, No Silver Bullet. How many of you read it? Not enough. Accidental complication and essential complication. Not complexity, because complexity implies emergence. And I'm just talking about complication. No such thing as an order of magnitude improvement in performance, in part because of accidental complication. Accident, well, essential complication because the problem is hard. The problem is hard, so the system is complicated. You want to audit a tax return? Have you read the tax code in Canada? It's this thick. Essential complication. Accidental complication we're not so good at our jobs. Accidental complication because we cut corners. We feel pressure. We don't have to worry about it this time. We don't have to refactor so much. We have to get it out the door. Accidental complication, essential complication. The cost of a feature is a function of the cost coming from the essential complication because the problem is hard. And the cost of accidental complication because we suck at our jobs. Roughly speaking, we can add these things together. How do you estimate? If you estimate. Don't estimate. But if you estimate, how do you estimate? This thing is kind of hard. This thing is kind of the same kind of hard. This thing took two weeks. This thing, two weeks. Here's the problem. Friday afternoon meeting. Don't worry, boss. Three days. Monday morning, oh shit, make that three months. Why? Accidental complication. Most people, most of the time, the cost of a feature is dominated, dominated, dominated by the cost from accidental complication. That means that the cost of your feature has almost nothing to do with how hard it is and almost everything to do with how much your design sucks. What can we do? Test-driven development to the rescue. Of course he was going to say that. Well, what the hell do you mean? Test-driven development, step one, think. Everyone forgets that step. Step two, write a test. Step three, stand back and ask, how much does this test suck? Is it too long? Does it have irrelevant details? Can I make the test smaller, simpler? Congratulations, you're removing accidental complication. Step three, run the test and watch it fail. You'd be surprised how often it doesn't actually fail. Why doesn't it fail? Well, I'm running the wrong tests. No, that's not the problem. I forgot to check something. No, I'm responsible. I write the assertion first. That's not the problem. I wrote too much code last time and it already passes the test. I should stop doing that. Accidental complication. Step four, write just enough code to make it pass. Just enough code to make it pass. Just enough code to make it pass. Not the line of code you know you have to write. Just enough code to make it pass. Return 12. If input is 7, return 12, else return 13. Weird, good enough. If every product in our shop is either 12 or $13, we're done. Another if statement, now it's a lookup table. Let's move the lookup table here, then here, then here. Now we have MVC. Accidental complication, we have to figure out how to remove it. And so after we write just enough code to make the test pass, the next thing we do is we clean the kitchen. We refactor a bit now. We have made a little mess to add some behavior, and now we smooth that little mess out. Because if we don't clean the kitchen, then we have to clean the garage. Cleaning the garage is a bigger job. We always put it off. We hate it when we have to do it. The only time we clean the garage is when there's no more room for the car. Clean the kitchen. Cleaning the kitchen, reducing accidental complication. So, so far, think, write the test, watch it fail. Write just enough code to make the test pass. Give your, cough, give your computer caffeine so that you can see the timer. 
Mistype your password because you're trying to go too quickly. Reduce accidental complications. So, write a test, limit the amount of code you're trying to write at once. Reduce accidental complication. Ask yourself, does the test suck? Remove accidental complication. Finally, make the code, make the test pass. Refactor, clean the kitchen. Reduce the accidental complication that get in because you didn't do a good job of avoiding it in the first place. You're getting better. Every few minutes, every few minutes, every few minutes. At the top of the circle, avoid accidental complication. At the bottom of the circle, squeeze out the accidental complication that got in while you weren't looking. Why? Because if the cost of a feature is the cost of the essential complication plus the cost of the accidental complication, and if we compare estimates based on essential complication, how hard is the problem? If it's roughly as hard as that thing that took two weeks, it should take two weeks. But if the cost from accidental complication dominates the cost of the feature, then you arrive at the fundamental theorem of agile software development. Not enough of you are leaning in. The fundamental theorem of agile software development says this. If you want to estimate little things, you have to refactor. Because refactoring is how you reduce accidental complication. And only by driving accidental complication down as far as you possibly can will your relative estimates have any meaning. Here's the proof. F equals G plus H. F is supposed to be proportional to G. But you have H. H either has to be a perfect multiple of G. How many times have you worked in a code base where the shit was uniformly distributed throughout the code? Or H has to be, say it with me, zero. Because if H is anything bigger than zero and H is not a multiple of G, then F will not be proportional to G and your relative estimates will be total bullshit. Therefore, if you're going to estimate, you'd better refactor, which means Scrum cannot work without XP. This has been 7 minutes and 26 seconds. Questions?